what are fresnel zone now we don't call it as fresnel we call it as fresnel zone so what happens when we have a transmitter and a receiver so when they want to communicate what happens is there is a capsule type say capsule type area okay a lobe being formed whenever we are communicating the waves they can because this is line of sight i'm talking so whenever we are talking line of sight this is a capsule shaped area which is formed and why i'm showing this because there will not be one uh, fresnel zone there will be multiple fresnel zone but we are more interested in the first fresnel zone why because the, this fresnel zone has to be clear in order to give proper communication well most of the time 60 to 70% if uh, first fresnel zone is clear then communication can happen now you see here that this is the uh, you can say an obstruction an obstacle in actual communication that is you are being suggested that okay increase the height of the antenna increase decrease the height of the receiver like that so whenever we have an obstruction then because every every fresnel zone needs to be clear for a proper communication but practically it may not be possible okay so let me tell you the formula of the fresnel zone this r is in meters so this is 17.32 and this is d by 4f d is in kilometer and f is in frequency this is 17.32 okay so d is the distance between transmitter and receiver f is the frequency on which you are working and it, this is in gigahertz so you get the radius of the fresnel zone let me tell you it is not a circle but still the extent from the center line is called r so the fresnel zone is the area around the visual line of sight that radio waves spread out into after they leave the antenna so they make a zone whenever there is a line of sight radio waves they move in certain direction that forms a, a capsule like structure so the rings which are shown here the shaded and non shaded these are known as the fresnel zones fresnel zones so the distance from this transmitter to a point on the circle to a to a receiver is longer by some multiple of an uh, half wavelength than the main beam why i am saying that because whenever you have an obstruction the the path will not be only straight there will be some reflection there will be some you know uh, diffraction refraction scattering all a different kind of activity take take, take place but the multiple path this is the major cause and the difference in the length because you have a fresnel zone uh, interference phenomena because one ray is going straight one is you know reflected from another or takes a different path so there may be some constructive interference there may be some destructive interference so you want a clear line of sight to maintain signal strength especially for this 2.4 gigahertz wireless system this is because this 2.4 gigahertz are these waves at this uh, particular frequency and higher they are more likely to be absorbed by water and trees and all these natural natural occurring phenomena